Hey guys, so I bet you're wondering why I have this business on my hair right now and it's normally not my typical style of starting out a video, but this is why. This is a true get ready with me video where I show you kind of my everyday go-to look that I'm doing, how I'm just recently started doing my hair as well and it kind of like, honestly I did it once and I liked how it turned out so hopefully this time it turns out the same but we will see so if you want to see my typical everyday routine get ready with me style make sure you keep watching so first I just got out of the shower of course or at least wash my hair for all you know that's what I hopefully did but yes I did just get out of the shower and I'm going to rub this all over my hair and take this towel off now that's all said and done what I typically do is I pretty much just kind of like let my hair part how it will um, I had my hairstylist cut it in a way where I could part it however I wanted, but fear of having weird parts is this go right here. So I kind of stick to my normal. Next up, what I'm using is this L'Oreal Air Dry. It ruffled body mute, mousse, mousse. It is a heat-free style for its resistant stronghold for waist and curls. So what made me start using this is Kathleen Lights. She has pretty curly hair and likes this a lot. It definitely does not make your hair scrunchy. Yeah, I think it's gonna, but it doesn't. So I just take about this much onto the palm of my hand. Rub it together. What I do is kind of like scrunch it real quick everywhere and then I like go back and work it in more. It smells so good so good now it doesn't like take away my frizz completely but it does for the most part and even if it didn't take away my frizz at all I would probably just use it because I love the way that my hair smells after I've done used it so I'm just gonna wipe off my hands real quick because oh I thought they would get sticky I've always wiped my hands off but I guess I don't have to so now I'm just going to take this brush and brush out this rat's nest So as you can tell, I am not the, um, I don't have the softest touch when I'm brushing my hair. Probably should, but that just is not my style. So first what I'm going to do is take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and Spot Conceal. I need to zoom you in a little bit. Um, all I do is take this little baby guy. I think this is meant for like an eyeliner brush. It's from Sedona Lace EB19. I got this in one of my, um subscription boxes. I think BoxyCharm. It came in like a set maybe. So I just take a little dab on the end and literally spot conceal with it if uh, I want to that day. This isn't like a typical thing that I do. It is a like every once in a while sort of thing. And then I'll just blend that in with the finger. And what that allows for is really getting the concealer to that specific spot because I know when you go into there, it's like all over the place. So my cheeks aren't as red as normal, so this step isn't too much. What I like to do is then also take the concealer on the redness on my cheeks and just blend that real quick. So when I put my next step on, it's not, it, it, it helps it cover the redness more because it doesn't have as much coverage as normal and my nose is really red today so I'm gonna go ahead and spot conceal that oh my eyebrow hairs are wanky so as you can see that took away almost all of the redness because sharp tape it is amazing so what I'm going to do is some a product that you guys have seen me use a thousand times when I talk about like my quick get ready's or my everyday get ready sort of stuff and it is the Tarte Tarte Guard tinted moisturizer it has an SPF of 20 and I am in the shade light now I put about this much onto my hand and if I need more then I'll go in for more and I like pat it back and forth and dot it onto my face and then I rub it in so my face is gonna be like super red now because I'm rubbing it so much but 
Just make sure you get that all blended into the skin. I have this like little divot on my face and so sometimes it gets stuck in there and it's embarrassing. Okay, so as you can tell that kind of gave me like a good amount of coverage. Um, it definitely evens out my skin tone and I still have some flushness coming through. It could just be because I'm hot, but usually there's like a little bit of some something there. So I don't really have to put on blush and that's what I like. Like it tones it down to the fact where it doesn't look like I have like really red skin but it leaves some of that redness behind or some of that color behind so it looks like I still have color to my skin without totally like washing me out or being too red sort of thing. So FYI the sun is going in and out of clouds right now and I have a ring light but this is definitely contributing to my lighting and um, that's why it may get a little like different <laughs> colors <laughs> sometimes. So real quick, I'm just going to use this Winky Lux eyebrow pencil, and it is in a universal shade, apparently. The packaging is super cute on this, and I do like that. I'm not a huge fan of, like, the angle of the applicator, and if you kind of want to see my thoughts on that, go watch my BoxyCharm um, July unboxing try-on style, and I tell you everything. So I'm just going to fill these in really quick. When I'm doing my quick everyday routine, I honestly don't take a lot of time on my brows um, because I find that even just coloring them in just a wee bit, it makes you look just a little bit more put together, honestly. And what I found with doing eyebrows is the more that you go with your natural brow, and I guess this works for me because I have a lot of brow hair. If you're one of those people, this is a better tip for you than one that doesn't really have brows and that's why you fill them in. But since I do have a lot of brows, I just go with the natural arch that they have and I'm doing it more as a guide and I'm not really trying to make them more full as a whole or more, you know, cut as a whole because I don't really like that cut Instagram-y type of eyebrow. You know, there are a few like spare spots that I have to fill in and a lot of the time that's because I get a little too happy when I'm taking a little razor and tripping them off. But if I'm going with the natural brow, I just feel that it looks more natural as well. So that's how I like to fill in my brows. I'm also very sloppy when it comes to doing my brows, so I like a good brow product that wipes away very easily. There are the brows. I also am not feeling that product because it like pulls out my freaking brow hair all the time. Which, yeah, of course, I don't need as much, but, like, dang, chill. So, these next few steps are, like, easy breezy, not hard at all. Um, and it's really good for, like, new beginners, too. So, this is from Tarte, and it is the, um, whoops, Park F Princess. It is the Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer. Um, very creamy, very pretty. Um, a very cool tone shade. It does have sparkles in it, but it doesn't really translate too much when you put it on the skin. So I just take this onto a little Morphe brush, dab it in there. I go who dabbed it a little bit too much. And just bronze up the face and you know, I like to stick in the hollows of the cheeks and um circle it around, light touch, I don't like press in there. But I'm just like, especially during the summertime, just going for like that summery bronze glowy color too. So I really like to bronze up the skin. I probably do it a little bit too much sometimes, but that's okay, that's okay. And I always make sure that I take it like as far back as I can to the ear so it doesn't look like weird. Then take it underneath like so. And what I like to do is pack the bronzer onto the side of the brush versus the, you know, end of it so I can get underneath here, or underneath, around to my hairline. I don't really want to like contour my forehead too much, but I want that summertime glow and this does go back a little far. So definitely if I have my like hair back, like that looks like I have a receding hairline, but there's a baby's hair that I really pulled back, I swear. But that way you can get like nice up in there without like doing your whole forehead if you have a small forehead like so um and it just like frames your face to like make it look really bronzy and pretty makes me look like I'm outside a lot more than I am 
So now we're just gonna take some of this Temp 2 BoxyCharm Liquid Glow. You've seen me use this way too many times. It's, you're probably sick of it. But it is the only liquid glow, but I have developed a new trick that I think you'll enjoy. So put that onto the high points of the face and down the nose. And I'll take it like around the brow just a little bit because I'm wanting that summertime glow today. Now what I have learned is that I did it again. Sometimes I stamp too far in, like so. So I'll pat this out with my beauty blender or beauty sponge. This is the Mikasa Beauty Lemon Drop Sponge, my favorite. I do have an affiliate code down below if you're interested. No pressure, it's up to you. And then what I'll do is like swipe it and press it into the skin a little bit more so it's actually marrying with the skin. Then comes the fun part. Oh, for cosmetics. Rodeo's dry. Mm. Take this onto my little fan brush. Oh, forgot to blend this out. And put that right on top of that liquid glow. Oh. I also got liquid glow in my hair. In the home stretch, so typically I like to take the bronzer and I'll just put that into the crease. Um, but since this one's super shimmery, when you put it on your eyes, it's going to appear more shimmery since it's more concentrated. So I'm going to take this butter bronzer, which ironically is also has some shimmery specks in it, but you can't really tell. So I just do it anyways because I'm a rebel. So I just take my Morphe blending brush and put that right in the crease. If you have eyes like me, which are slightly hooded, um, you want to go in just like so instead of like so or so sort of stuff and always hold your brush out at the end of the brush instead of like right here because that is just too concentrated and you have a little bit more mobility when you're working from all the way back here. And so depending on what look I'm truly going for, I'll like kick this up a notch sometimes. But today I think I'm going for more of like a minimally look and uh, with a high payoff bling. So I'm just going to keep my eyes like super subtle. I also don't know why I keep saying like. It makes me sound like a valley girl and I apologize if that's what's going on right now. Okay, so I do want to deepen that up a little bit. So I'm going to go into a ColourPop shape that I have called Bel Air. Take that with just like the same brush. Tap it off just a little bit and try to stay really more concentrated in that crease without getting too wild. There we go. That's giving me the definition I wanted. And then I'm going to take this shade and it is called Issues from ColourPop as well. Take this with a packer brush. It's from e.l.f. Just put that on the lid just to make it a little bit more like cohesive. And it's really brightening. I mean, it's like a peachy color, but when it's on your lids, it's pretty brightening as well. So it makes my eyes look definitely more open and awake. And that's what I'm going for. So I'm just going to real quick get into the Jaclyn Hill palette because, I mean, I just can't really do a look these days without using it. Just take this little tiny packer brush, also from e.l.f. e.l.f. Elf. Pack that lightly into the corner and go ahead and use it under the brow. So I'll also sometimes put concealer underneath my eyes depending on how um, tired I am that day. But I'm not going to do that today, but I did just put a little bit of Cover FX setting powder under there because it was looking super shiny and I needed to mattify that just a hair. Um, I forgot to tell you what I was doing, but I did curl my lashes and now I'm putting on mascara. As you can see, I'm kind of like trying to hold the lashes up so they don't fall back down. I'm using the Grand Mascara and just plopping that on. I'm going to take that on my lower lashes real quick, but sometimes I gotta get like close to the mirror. Sometimes I will and sometimes I won't put something on my lips. 
feeling like they look a little bland right now, so I'm going to. I'm just feeling this pretty nudie lip from Mellow Mushroom. It is the color, pretty, it's called nude, but it's a little pinky. Just put it up that on real quick. Okay, so now that my lipstick is on, just time to finish up my hair. So this is pretty much how it looks when it's dried after brushing it. If I didn't brush it, it would definitely be a little bit more wavy and like frizzy up here. But by brushing it, what it did was let it kind of be like a little bit more beachy. And then what I'll do is if the ends are dry is this next product that I am going to use. And it is the Paul Mitchell Smoothing Super Skinny Serum. It smooths and conditions your hair. So I just take a little itty bitty amount, not too much. Take that on my fingertips and literally Take it on the ends of the hair and then sometimes I'll run it through the rest that's just right there. Now you can put this on wet or dry, it doesn't matter. Um, my ends are pretty dry right now so and up here is still pretty wet because my hair is a little thick. But all that's going to do is give it some life back down there. Now say it's been like three or four days since I've washed my hair, yes I typically go that long, then I definitely use that because it needs just a little bit more hydration down there. That is everything for this video. I hope that you enjoyed this style of video and it is my typical everyday routine. If you did, please make sure that you give it a big thumbs up. Please make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already. I post every Tuesday and Thursday. Follow me on all my shows, social media, they are down below and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. I hope that you enjoyed this type of video. Whew. Hair on there. I just take about this much all over my hands if I need more. All over my hands take about this much at the end of my hands and if I need more